Number two, asking questions can lead you astray from God to the devil. And I find this to be very, very funny because how is asking questions leading you astray? Curiosity may kill the cat. I don't know if you ever heard that, right? But curiosity also leads you to knowledge. Curiosity also leads you to different inventions. It leads you to creativity. It leads you to the expansion of your own life. If you don't have curiosity, your life has no meaning damn near. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't have any curiosity in life, how are you going to prevail in life? How are you going to exceed in life and create anew for yourself in life if you don't have any curiosity? And what kills curiosity for people who are wrapped up in religion is that they don't think that there is more to life than what they were taught and, and brought up in in their house and in the church they believe that there is only one God and there's only one Trinity and there's God had a son and that's it they don't go out of their way to study other belief systems and other cultures to see that okay maybe the environment in which I was raised in taught me to believe the way that I do and maybe if I was raised up in India I wouldn't be a Christian if I was raised up in Asia I wouldn't be a Christian if I was raised up in uh, certain parts of Africa I wouldn't be a Christian so you know when you're dealing with the perception of not asking questions if you don't ask questions how are you going to learn it's, it's like when you're in school you know these religious parents encourage their children always ask questions if you need help if you need a tutor you know what I'm saying they always want their children to do their best in school but when it comes to religion you just receive and understand and if you don't understand then just receive more and there's no breakdown if they want to break down you have to ask particular questions that are in the confinements of religion. You can't ask questions outside of the confinements of religion. You can't ask the pastor or your own parents, how do you know that God is real? Because when you ask them, well, I tried them for myself and I have a relationship with when I was on my knees down and out and I didn't have clothes on my back and food on my table. I called to Jesus and he answered my prayer. That's not going to do anything for anybody. <laughs> That's not going to do anything for anybody. You know what I'm saying? We're here having a church sermon. We need actual evidence. Not how you personally felt. Not your experience. Not your personal relationship. with. No. We need, we need some substance here. Alright? We need something that we can actually weigh on knowing that, okay... Your God is real, but there is none. There is none. There is no evidence for the God of the Bible. Your personal relationship with Jesus, and yet you don't even know what Jesus looks like, and you got a personal relationship with Jesus. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me that you got a personal relationship with Jesus. And you don't know what Jesus looks like. You don't even know what his favorite color is. You don't know when his birthday is, but you have a personal relationship with you. You have a personal relationship with your wife, your husband, your kids. You know everything about them from top to bottom. But you have a personal relationship with Jesus and he hasn't even appeared to you. That's kind of crazy.